Right, today we're going to take a look at CSS3 and Flash animations on the iPod Touch and Nexus 1 Android device. Uh, first, let's take a look at the iPod Touch. Refresh the page. Uh, we'll take a look at these banner ads. Notice that the car um, pops up. The text fades very nicely. And in the bottom animation, um, the bar moves across very smoothly. The text fades in. Overall, these are looking great. Uh, I'm going to refresh the page again and show you the one on the bottom. Um, the car slides in from the right, the text has a sheen that goes across it. Um, overall, this is looking great. It has a GPU acceleration on the iPod Touch uh, for CSS3, so it's expected that these would um, perform very well. Um, notice that the empty spaces are where Flash content would be, but um, in this case, the CSS3 um, really is sufficient for these ads. So let's take a look at the um, Android device. Uh, Google Nexus 1 with these same ads. Uh, I'm going to refresh the page. Now when we do this, take a look at the um, very subtle differences with the CSS3. The car animation does not pop up. Um, the text does um, not fade as well. Um, animations don't come in from the right. The second ad down, a lot of content isn't even displayed. Um, the bottom ad has text and uh, we'll re refresh that and take a closer look at this bottom ad. And refresh. And the bottom ad has text that isn't even displayed due to a um, background that isn't fully transparent. You see that sheen come over and um, this ad just isn't, isn't really um, working as expected in CSS3 compared to Flash. So in conclusion, um, the Flash animations run better than the CSS3 on the Nexus 1 as of right now. Hopefully they'll be improving this in the future. Um, but on the iPod Touch, CSS3 for simple animations is um, definitely a, a great replacement um, to Flash, um, again, for the um, iOS devices.